In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how to create this realistic EV glass shader in Blender version 4.2. So I made a video on this a few years ago, but in the new Blender version of 4.2, there have been some updates to the transparency options in Blender EV, so I'm remaking this video for Blender version 4.2. And if you'd like to download this Blender file and all the project files with the EV glass shader, then I'll have a free download on my Gumroad store and Patreon page, the link to that is in the description. And if you're downloading on my Gumroad store, you can just punch in zero into the price box and then download the files for free or if you'd like to help support me you can throw a few dollars into the tip box on Gumroad before downloading and that's a great way to send me a little tip and help support this channel. So the first thing we want to do is go here to the render properties and here on the render engine we want to change this over to Blender EV. We're now going to click right here to go to the shading workspace and I'll go into the rendered viewport mode. So let's select the object, I'll click on new to add a new material and I'll just rename this to EV glass shader and then I'll select select the other objects and I'm going to add the EV glass shader to all these other objects. Now to make this look like glass, we're going to start by opening up this transmission here on the principal shader, and we're going to turn this weight all the way up to 1 on the transmission. Now you can see it doesn't really look like glass, it's really dark and you can't see through the glass. So there's a few things we're going to do to fix this. One thing we're going to do is take this base color here and we're going to make it fully white, or you can change this to whatever glass color you want. And then we're also going to take this roughness value and we're going to turn it way down to make it really shiny, because if the roughness is turned up, it's going to look like a frosted glass. Now you still can't really see through the glass. So we're going to click right here on the render properties and we're going to check mark this ray tracing which is a new feature in Blender version 4.2. Now you still can't really see through the glass so to fix this we're going to click back here to go to the material settings and we're going to scroll down and you can open up the settings tab here and under the render method we want to check mark this ray trace transmission and now you can actually see through the glass. Now there's still a lot of problems with this glass it almost looks like it's a shiny metal and the things in the background are like upside down and they're super warped. So to fix this here on the material settings, we're going to scroll down here and we're also going to change this thickness type from sphere to slab. And this will make it look quite a bit better and already you can see that looks a lot more like glass. Now you can also play around with this IOR value if you want to, however the IOR value for glass is 1.5, so I'm going to leave this at 1.5, but you can change the IOR if you want to. Now one thing that we can do to make this look much more realistic is we can add a solidify modifier to these objects. Now this object here, we don't really want to add a solidify to this object because this is a cup, so it is hollow inside, but for these objects here, we can add a solidify to these and that will make them look more realistic because glass objects usually have some amount of thickness and because you're able to see through them you're able to see both sides. So to make that more realistic let's click here on the modifiers tab and on the monkey head I'll click on add modifier and I'm going to add a solidify modifier. Let's go back to the solid view or actually we could go into the wireframe view so we can kind of see that and I can just change the thickness value and I'll just make it a very small thickness. Let's do the same thing for this sphere here. So we'll click on add modifier. We'll add a solidify modifier right here on the solidify thickness. I can just turn this down just a little bit so there's a little bit of thickness inside. So that will help to make it look a bit more realistic. And it may not look that different right now, but it will look different later on. Now, if I look here on the side of the objects, you can't really see glass through glass. So to fix this, we are going to add in another shader. So I'll go to the add menu and I'm gonna add a transparent shader and we'll drop it here. Now, if we plug the transparent up to the surface, it would just be completely transparent so you can't see the objects. So I'm gonna mix the transparency with this principled glass and that way they'll be mixed together and the glass will be more transparent. So I'll go to the add menu and we're going to search for a mix shader and we're going to put the mix shader here right after the transparent. So now the transparent shader can go into the top one and the principled BSDF that can go into the bottom one. So now the factor is going to blend between how much it's using the transparent and how much it's using the principled. Now instead of evenly blending between the transparent and the principled shader, I want some parts to be more transparent. Specifically, I want the middle of the mesh to be more transparent, but then I want the edges to have a bit more of the reflection from the principled shader. So to do this, I'll go to the add menu and we're gonna search for the Fresnel node and we will put this above the transparent. So if I control shift and select the Fresnel to preview it, what it's doing is when you are looking at the faces on the side, they are gonna be more of a white color, but when you're looking at the faces straight on, they're gonna be a darker color. So the light and dark values are gonna control how much it's transparent and how much it's principled. So we're gonna put the factor into the factor here 
and then I can control shift and select the mix shader to preview it. So now you can see the center is really transparent, but then on the sides, it's looking more reflective. And I can change the IOR value to kind of change how much of the Fresnel you can see. Now I like to change this Fresnel value to a 1.12, but then I also want to change the colors because it's like super transparent. It's basically fully transparent in the center. So to fix this, I'm going to bring these nodes over here and then I'll go to the add menu and I'm going to search for a color ramp and we'll put the color ramp in between the Fresnel and the mix shader. So drop it here. So now I can click on the black tab here on the color ramp and I can make this lighter. And if I make it lighter, then we're going to be able to see more of that principled shader in the center. So now this glass shader is looking much more realistic and you can definitely notice the benefit now of adding that tiny little solidify. If I go here to the modifiers and click on this monitor icon next to the solidify to hide it, you can see now the glass looks like paper thin. It's so thin it looks like it could very easily break and that's not really realistic, but by adding the solidify and turning up the thickness, it looks quite a bit more realistic because you can see both sides of the glass. Now there may be an issue happening for you with the shadows. If the shadows are really looking dark and not very realistic, that is because you need to click on one of the glass objects and then click here to go to the material properties and you can scroll down here to the settings and you can check mark this transparent shadows. So that's gonna make the glass look much more realistic because the light is going through so the shadows are much less visible. Now the sunlight that I'm using in this scene is very, very sharp. So if I select the sunlight, I can click here to go to the object data properties and on the sunlight settings, there's an angle here, and I can just turn this angle up just a little bit, and that way it softens the shadow out so that looks much more realistic instead of having those super sharp shadows. Now there is a problem with this glass shader, and that is that the glass looks really quite grainy. So to fix this, we can turn up the samples in Eevee. So let's click right here to go to the render properties, and we're gonna open up the sampling. So what I'm gonna do first is turn on this jittered shadows here on the viewport, and that's definitely gonna make the shadows look a bit nicer, whereas you can see before, they're more grainy and sometimes you can see kind of a bit of a pattern so I'll turn on the jittered shadows and that looks nicer and then I can turn up the viewport samples and the render samples so the higher the samples are the longer it's going to take to render but I'm going to turn the samples to like 500 on both the viewport and the render so the viewport is what you're actually going to be able to see here in the viewport but the render is what it's actually going to render as but now if I just sit here and wait for it to load up you can see the grain is going away because we have that high sample count now, one more thing you can do to make this EV glass shader more realistic is to add an HDRI environment, and this is going to add lots of realistic lighting and reflections to reflect off the glass. So you can download lots of free HDRIs from a website called polyhaven.com. I'll have the link in the video description, and you can download some HDRIs. What I'm going to do to add in an HDRI is click here on the world properties, and then I'm going to click here on the yellow dot next to color, and I'm going to choose environment texture, and then I'm going to click on open and open up an HDRI. So I'll have a link in the description if you want to download the same HDRI. And I downloaded the 1K version and the HDR version on Polyhaven. So I'll just click on open image and then it's a little bit bright. So here I can just turn the brightness down, but this is going to make it look quite a bit more realistic because you can see there's all those reflections there on the glass and it's reflecting all the colors and the lights from the HDRI. So that is how you create this realistic glass shader in Blender Eevee. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thank you for watching. And again, you can download the free project files on my government store and my Patreon page with the links in the description. And if you're a beginner to Blender and you'd like to learn all the basic fundamentals of Blender, then definitely check out my Blender for Complete Beginners tutorial series. And that's a 14 part tutorial series where I show you all the basics of Blender while creating this snowman 3D artwork. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.